What's good, my vegans? All right, I've decided after my little breakfast that I want to add a little extra. I made a little ice cream smoothie for for breakfast. And it's nice outside today. Doesn't matter whether it's nice or not, but I decided today that, you know, I'm going to go for at least a minimum of an hour ride. At least an hour. Might be two hours. So what I want to do, I want to carb up. You know, I want to put my tank on full so that this way when I get out there, there's not nothing heavy and all that other stuff. You know, that's what I like about the vegan lifestyle. You can get it in and it doesn't really like weigh you down and make you tired and everything. It gives you that energy. So I'm going to show you what I'm going to have here. All right. For, so right now I have some, some white rice. And I made some. This right here. This right here, the steam coming up. This is, and the way that you put food together is real important. You have to know your foods. This is butternut squash, carrots, and sweet potato that I put in a, my steamer, my pressure cooker, and along with this I put you know, the first thing I do is I put the, the sweet potatoes first. Then, after they got get a little bit soft, break down some, then I throw in the butternut squash and the carrots. Once I do that, <clears throat> then I put, um, I do so many different things. I made this last night. Um, I put in, you know, I put, it, put water, boiling water, of course. I also put um, green peppers, onions, I put tofu, um, I put some, I put some peanut, it's like a peanut dressing that I kind of put in there also for the seasoning just to marinate. Like I said, you gotta, you gotta know how to put foods together like it's all about combining you know com your combinations it's like your mad scientist that knows what they're doing now and uh, you know I have different things in here you know not not too much off of that but you know a little turmeric a little pink sea salt you know some seasoning um, also put a little bit of coconut oil in there so now oh yeah then also too um, I added a little bit of um, sriracha, so, um, and I also put some soy terrazzo. That's like some plant-based meat. So, and not not too much of that really. I'm gonna also have this overly done avocado. This baby is at the point of another day or two and it will be garbage but I'm gonna also as I'm eating this I'm gonna add a little bit of this this is fermented sesame seed sesame fermented sesame chili paste fermented you know it's a lot of things I do fermented I don't do always but it's about that gut health ferment fermented things are good for you then I'm gonna also take I already finished this. This is sauerkraut with pickled Persian cucumbers that was in it. But this is the juices left of it. And fermented means it's like live living organisms that's in there. And all that stuff is really good for your for your gut health to, for to promote a um, positive um, positive. Uh, organism, microorganisms in your body. You know, when we take antibiotics, we take antibiotics and the antibiotics kills not just the bad things, but it kills also the good things that's in our gut, that's in our bodies. 
And, you know, it's all about feeding and nourishing and multiplying the healthy microorganisms that help to, you know, like I said, the body, you know, the body is a, a very good healing machine. So anyway, let's get to eating here. Now, I advise you, put it on pause because your boy is about to go in. It's about to be delicious, man. Let's see. I don't even know what to do. I don't know what to do first. Like, you know, you do whatever you want to do. This is what's so fun about being vegan. Scoop out a little bit of this avocado. Dip it in the fermented sauerkraut juice. It's food combining. Food combining 101. Oh man, whoa. Let's get another. Let's get another dose of that. That is so delicious. Oh yeah, have, have some. You know, I always like to share. Mm. Mm. It's so good. Now we take a little bit of rice. Oh, let's take some of this fermented chili paste. Scoop some rice. Fermented chili paste, scoop some rice. Delicious. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, uh, wow. Mmm. I put in like a little bit of also, not a lot, just a little bit of organic cane sugar in here. Because like I said, you gotta think sweet potatoes, carrots, but enough squash. You don't have to. It's all, you know, you do what works for you. But the way you put it together, and this has a little kick to it also. Oh, man, like, mm. I can't tell whether I'm eating the sweet potato, the carrot, or the butternut squash because it's all, like, this came together so nice and so soft. Like, this is a carrot. I know this is a carrot right here. Mushrooms, so good. The tofu, freaking amazing. So yeah, I just want to give you guys some ideas on food combining. It's really important. Oh man, that little kick that it has to it, like, like um. Chocolate Bobby Flay, like Bobby Flay likes to do, he likes to always add a little bit of kick, you know, a little bit of heat to his food. Chocolate Bobby Flay does that also, vegan style. Mmm. Oh, man. I'm sorry if I'm making you hungry, but that's what it's all about. Get your vegan meal on. Have fun with it. Yeah, when people say to me, do I miss meat? Why? Why when you have so much, you have an unlimited amount of food choices combined that's not only good for you, good for the planet, helping to back and be that voice for the animals that people abuse for no reason at all. Makes no sense. But it's also healthy for you, just keeps you energized. This guilt-free ice cream shake, pumpkin style.
And yeah, I'm chewing.